Hello children. Today I will explain exercise 7.2. Let's understand types of fraction. There are three types of fraction. Proper fraction, improper fraction, mixed fraction. First proper fraction. A fraction in which the numerator is less than the denominator is called a proper fraction. Example 2 upon 8. Here 2 is numerator and 8 is denominator and 2 is less than 8. Therefore, it is proper fraction. Second, improper fraction. A fraction in which the numerator is greater than or equals to the denominator is called an improper fraction. For example, 5 upon 2. Here, 5 is numerator and 2 is denominator and 5 is greater than 2. Therefore, it is improper fraction. Second example, 4 divided by 4. Here, numerator is equals to denominator. Therefore, it is improper fraction. Third, Mixed fraction. A mixed number is the sum of a natural number and a proper fraction. Now let's understand with the example. 1 plus 1 plus 1 upon 2 is equals to 2 whole 1 upon 2. 1 plus 1 is equals to 2 that is natural number and 1 upon 2 that is proper fraction. And the combination of natural number and proper fraction that is 2 whole 1 upon 2 it is mixed fraction. Children, let's start. Exercise 7.2 Question 1 Question 1 Draw number lines and locate the points on them. A part 1 by 2, comma 1 by 4, comma 3 by 4, comma 4 by 4. Apart from 1 by 2, all remaining numbers have same denominator that is 4. But first question arises, these numbers lie between which two numbers? For this, we will divide these numbers and we will get firstly, we will divide 1 by 4. 4 0 is a 0. 1 is remainder. Now we will apply point and add 0 after 1. 4 2 is a 8. 2 0. And 4 5 is a 20. And we will get 0 0.25 as the quotient. Now we will divide. 4 upon 4 4 ones are 4 and 1 is the quotient that means these numbers lies between 0 and 1 so firstly we will draw a number line and these numbers lies between only 0 and 1 so we will mark only 0 and 1 now all numbers have denominator same that is 4 so we will divide these length between 4 equal parts for this we will draw 3 lines at equal length like this now we will mark 1 upon 4. For this, we have to move 1 steps to the right of 0 and we will get 1 by 4. Now, we will mark 3 by 4. For this, we have to move 3 steps to the right of 0. 1, 2, 3 and we will get 3 by 4. 4 by 4. For this, we have to move 4 steps to the right of 0. And we will get 4 by 4 that is equals to 1. Now 1 by 2 that means half. This number lies between in the middle of 0 and 1 that is here. That means for marking the number or for plotting a number on the number line firstly we have to divide the line or divide the length between two numbers according to the denominator. Now we will plot the number according to the numerator. Now let's understand B part. 1 by 8, comma 2 by 8, comma 3 by 8, comma 7 by 8. In this question, we have same denominator that is 8. But firstly we will check these numbers lies between which two numbers. For this, we will divide the first number and last number. Or we can say smaller number or greater number. After division, we will get 8 zeros are 0, 1 is remainder 
Now we will apply decimal and add zero. Eight ones are eight. Two is remainder. Again we add zero. Eight two is sixteen. Four is remainder. Again we add zero. Eight five is forty. And we will get zero point one two five is the quotient. Now we will divide seven by eight. It is smaller than eight, so eight zero is a zero. Seven is remainder. Now we will apply decimal and add zero. Eight eight is a sixty four. Six is remainder. Now we will add zero again. Eight seven is a fifty six. Now four is remainder. We will add zero again. Eight five is a forty. This shows that these all numbers lies between zero and one. So, firstly, we will draw a number line. And mark zero and one. Now, all numbers have same denominator that is eight. That means we have to divide the length, or we have to divide the line between zero and one into eight equal parts by drawing seven lines: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, we. Plot the number according to the numerator, one by eight. For this, we have to move one step to the right of zero. We will get one by eight. Two by eight. For this, we have to move two steps to the right of zero. One, two. It is two by eight. Three by eight. For this, we have to move three steps to the right of zero. One, two, three. It is three by eight, seven by eight. For this, we have to move seven steps to the right of zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is seven by eight. Now let's understand C part. Two by five, comma three upon five, comma eight upon five, comma four upon five. All numbers have same denominator that is five. Firstly, we will divide the smaller number and greater number. For finding that these numbers lies between which two numbers? Two divided by five. Five zeros are zero. Two is remainder. Now we will apply decimal and add zero. Now five four is twenty. Therefore zero point four is the quotient. Now we will divide greater number that is eight upon five. After division we will get. Five ones are five. Now three is remainder. We will apply decimal and add zero. Five six is thirty. Zero point four is smaller than one, and one point six is greater than one. That means these all numbers lies between zero and two. So we will draw number line, and now. These numbers lies between zero and two, so we will plot zero, one, two. Because all these numbers have same denominator that is five, so we will divide the line into five equal parts: one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we will plot the number two upon five. Here numerator is two, so we will move two step to the right of zero. One two. It is two upon five. Three upon five. For this we will move three steps to the right of zero. One two three. It is three upon five. Eight upon five. Here the numerator is eight, so we will move eight steps to the right of zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is eight upon five. Or we can say that eight upon five is equals to eight 
फाइव वन जा फाइव अकॉर्डिंग टू क्यूशेंट रिमाइंडर डिवाइडेड बाय डिविजर रूल वी विल राइट क्यूशेंट हेयर नाउ वी विल राइट रिमाइंडर हेयर एंड वी विल राइट डिविजर हेयर इट एट अपॉन फाइव इज इक्वल्स टू वन होल थ्री अपॉन फाइव दैट मीन्स इट इज इम्प्रॉपर फॉर्म एंड इट इज मिक्स फ्रैक्शन फॉर्म दैट मीन्स दिस नंबर लाइज बिटवीन वन एंड टू आफ्टर वन होल वी हैव टू मूव थ्री स्टेप्स टू द राइट ऑफ वन वन टू थ्री नाउ फोर अपॉन फाइव हेयर वी हैव टू मूव फोर स्टेप्स टू द राइट ऑफ जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर इट इज फोर अपॉन फाइव दिस इज द रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ फ्रैक्शन ऑन द नंबर लाइन नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू कन्वर्ट इम प्रॉपर फ्रैक्शन इन टू मिक्स फ्रैक्शन फॉर दिस वी विल यूज अ फॉर्मूला दैट इज मिक्स फ्रैक्शन इज इक्वल्स टू क्यूशेंट प्लस रिमाइंडर डिवाइडेड बाय डिविजर नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड विथ दिस एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल कन्वर्ट ट्वेंटी वन अपॉन फोर इन टू मिक्स फ्रैक्शन फॉर फाइंडिंग द क्यूशन रिमाइंडर एंड डिमाइंडर डिविजर फर्स्टली वी विल डिवाइड ट्वेंटी वन बाई फोर Now we will divide twenty one by four. Two is not divided by four, so we will take twenty one. And four five is a twenty. One is remainder. Now in this division we have five as quotient, one as remainder, and four as divisor. Now we will write as quotient plus that means five plus remainder divided by divisor. That means One divided by four. Now we will write it five whole one by four. This is the mixed form of twenty one by four. Now let's understand question number two. Express the following as mixed fraction. First part twenty by three. Firstly, we will divide twenty by three. Three six is eighteen. Now two is remainder. Here we will get. Six as quotient, two as remainder, and three as divisor. Now we will use a formula that is quotient plus remainder divided by divisor. Here quotient is six, that means six plus remainder is two divided by divisor. Divisor is three. Now it will become six whole. Two divided by three. It is our answer. B part eleven upon five. Now we will divide eleven by five. After division, we will get five two za ten and one as remainder. It is quotient one is remainder and five is divisor. Now we will write in this form. Quotient plus remainder divided by divisor. Quotient is two plus remainder one. Divisor five. This is equals to two whole one upon five. C part seventeen divided by seven. Firstly, we will divide seventeen by seven, and after division, we will get seven two zero fourteen. Three is remainder here. Two is quotient. Three is remainder, and seven is divisor. Now we will write this values in this formula: quotient plus remainder divided by divisor. Quotient is two, remainder is three, 
and divisor is seven so it will become two whole three divided by seven always keep in mind two is right in the middle that means quotient is written in the middle b part 28 upon 5 e part 19 upon 6 f part 35 upon 9 it is quite similar to our previous parts so i am giving you as a homework try to solve now let's understand how to convert mixed fraction into improper fraction for this conversion we use a formula that is improper fraction is equals to whole number multiply denominator plus numerator divided by denominator now let's understand with this example for example convert two whole three upon four into improper fraction By using this formula, we will convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction. We have given 2 whole 3 upon 4. Here 2 is whole number, 3 is numerator and 4 is denominator. Now by using this formula, we will convert it. That is firstly we will multiply whole number with denominator whole number is 2 and denominator is 4 that means 2 into 4 now we will add numerator with this product numerator is 3 that means plus 3 divided by denominator here denominator is 4 and we will get 2 4 is 8 plus 3 divided by 4 firstly we will add these two terms 8 plus 3 11 divided by 4 and it is our answer children let's start question number three express the following as improper fraction we have to convert this mixed fraction into improper fraction by using the formula that is whole number multiply by denominator plus numerator divided by denominator first part 7 whole 3 upon 4 here 7 is whole number 3 is numerator and 4 is denominator by putting the values in this formula that is 7 multiply by 4 plus 3 divided by 4 7 4 is a 28 plus 3 divided by 4 28 plus 3 is 31 divided by 4 this is the answer b part 5 whole 6 upon 7 here 5 is a whole number 6 is numerator and 7 is denominator now by putting the value in this formula whole number multiply numerator that means 5 multiply 7 plus numerator that is 6 divided by denominator that is 7 now 5 7 is a 35 plus 6 divided by 7 after addition we will get 35 plus 6 41 divided by 7 c part 2 whole 5 upon 6 here 2 is whole number 5 is numerator and 6 is denominator now putting these values in this formula whole number multiply denominator that means 2 multiply 6 plus numerator that is 5 divided by denominator that is 6 now 2 6 are 12 plus 5 divided by 6 12 plus 5 is 17 divided by 6 that means 2 whole 5 upon 6 is equals to 17 divided by 6 d part 10 whole 3 upon 5 e part 
नाइन होल थ्री अपॉन सेवन एफ पार्ट एट होल फोर अपॉन नाइन चिल्ड्रेन इट इज़ क्वाइट सिमिलर टू अवर प्रीवियस पार्ट सो आई एम गिविंग यू एज ए होमवर्क ट्राई टू सॉल्व children i hope you all must have understood well these topics that i have explained you today that is how to represent fractions on number line how to convert mixed fraction into improper fraction and how to convert improper fraction into mixed fraction this chapter has completed now thank you